Hello, welcome back. In our previous video, we have created the setup where we scatter only inside where the camera is seeing using the camera custom QL shop. So in case if you have missed this, you can go back and watch this video. There is a link in the description. Let's move on to the next topic, which is scatter on curves. Yeah, we can scatter points on curves like how we did in the geometry. We can also use attributes to control the scatter distribution. So let's see how to do that. Let's drop a draw curve. So this node will give you a grid to draw curve on it. So let's press enter on the viewport. You can just start drawing on this. So now we have a curve and if you take a close look, <coughs> it looks little jittery. Uh, but what I want is little more smoother curves. To do that, you can use a resample soft. Resample, connect it. If you connect a resample and adjust this length, you can see you you get better distribution of points when compared to the draw curve. So, but it doesn't smooth out the curve yet. To do that, what we can do is we can convert this into a NURBS curve by using this convert soft. Just change this convert to, to the NURBS curve. So as soon as you do, do that, you can see the curve is really smooth now when compared to the original. So that's how you smooth a curve. You can even go uh, more aggressive like increase this to have more smoother curve. Something like this. Let's say that's enough. Okay. So now we have a NURBS curve, but what we want is a polygon to scatter, uh, like a polygon curve to scatter points. To convert it back to polygons, you can again use the same convert soft and set this to polygon. But what I am going to do is use a resample soft instead. So this will also convert the NURBS into polygons and also you have control to control the density of the points in the curve. So you can see, so I have more denser points now. Okay. So now we have a nice polygon curve. Let's start scattering on this curve. <coughs> okay, let's drop a scatter. And yeah, there we go. As soon as we connected the scatter, it scatters points on the curves like this. But now the powerful thing is we can use an attribute to control the distribution of the scatter. So that's what exactly we are going to do. For curves, when you do resample, it has something called a curve U attribute. Just enable it. So once you enable it, you can see a curve U attribute is generated from this resample shop. This attribute is one of the most important when working with curves. So make sure you learn how to use it and this is going to be really useful in lot of different effects and lot of modeling process whatever you do with curves this curve view attribute is going to help you a lot so keep that in mind and we are visualizing the curve view using the grayscale gradient like this so that's why you see black here and white here if i change this to infrared as you can see our value travels from 0 to 1 along the curve so we are going to use this attribute to distribute the points using the scatter okay so we have the scatter and let's enable the density attribute and set this to curve u as you can see now this attribute is making the scatter soft scatter more points where the value is more and scatter less points where the density is less. If you want to control this and you want to remap this value, you can use a attribute remap. This node will remap your value of any attribute. For now, we need to remap the curve view. The original name of the attribute is curve view and we want to export it as curve view itself. We don't want to rename it so i'm going to give the same name here and once you do that you can control it like this so it's crazy useful like whenever you 
are working with curves you can use this uh, curve view and uh, attribute remap to achieve a lot of different effects so you can see i can uh, scatter only on the top or only on the bottom and also like if you want you can use this hill to scatter only in the middle section a lot of different things you can do with this so that's how you can use curve view and and you can use the scatter shop to scatter points along the curve learning little tricks every day like this is one of the easiest way to learn houdini if you wish to learn more in easy way hit that subscribe button so that you receive my videos as soon as i publish hope you found this useful if you want in-depth tutorial of any of these topics you can always let me know in the comment section Thanks a lot for watching, have fun.